How's it going YouTube? It is Docky or Docky Style Gaming and this is the fourth part of our Arcanist Scholar series of lore discussion videos about the different topics and things in Anthem. And in this video we will be discussing the Scar, what makes them tick, where they came from, who they are, and what all we know about them so far. So without further ado, let's get into the topic, the lore, and the discussion of the Scar. Now the Scar are very mysterious. Little is known about their race, their language, their intelligence, or even their mysterious connection to the Shapers. In this war discussion, we will be breaking down the Scar, we will be answering all of those questions, and more. But first, let's see how the Scar actually arrived in the world of Anthem. Yes, you heard correctly, arrived. The Scar aren't actually native to the world that the humans of Anthem call home. The Scar aren't even necessarily aliens, but they're certainly not human. They didn't crash land on this world from a spaceship, though that would be highly unlikely due to the powerful and dangerous rip streams that are in the world's atmosphere, preventing anything from leaving or entering the world's atmosphere out of fear of the rip stream shredding anything it comes in contact with apart. So. How did the Scar get here then you might be asking? Well, somehow, uniquely and mysteriously, the Shaper technology on the world brought them here, with no real reason behind it. Now possibly, it could be because of their mysterious connection that they have with the Shapers, or the gods and creator of the world of Anthem. But after being trapped on this world for so long, they've become just as much a part of civilization as humanity has. This race of humanoid creatures have established a hierarchy, they have settlements, and even craft unique and dangerous weapons of their own. This alien-like race are creative and smart enough to have fully weaponized settlements in the world. Already an amazing feat considering everything in the world of Anthem wants to either kill you or can kill you. And yet, here the scars still stand, living, scavenging, and surviving in this dangerous world. They have turrets and weapons mounted all across the world. They have their own unique language. They even have a hierarchy class ranking system among their race. You have your scrappers, you have your scouts, you have your hunters, and you even have your enforcers, and none of them should be considered pushovers. Just looking at the scars themselves should tell you that. Most scars are adorned in the armor or the parts of their enemies, some even javelin parts. But even after learning all of this, why exactly are the scar an enemy of the freelancers? Well, like the militaristic faction of the Dominion, the scar are trying to retrieve the shaper technology as well. For what purpose? No one knows. But the freelancers are trying to stop them and the scar won't allow it. And that's where I'm gonna end it. Now, this was kind of a shorter one, but there's not too much information on the scar and this is all that we have to go on right now. But let me know in the comment section, are the scar gonna ever get off of this planet? Are they actually trying to use the shaper technology for something good? Are they just trying to get back home? And are the scar in fact even enemies of the freelancers? I'll leave that with you all to ponder. That's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I will catch y'all in the next lore video and next anthem video. Peace.